This is the best AI video generator that I've seen. Luma AI has changed the game with its incredibly high quality AI video generator. The amount of motion is impressive, but what's even more impressive is the ability to preserve the identity of the subjects inside the videos combined with the high amount of motion. The consistency of details in the videos is really better than anything else that's out there right now. It's capable of animating your prompts, but to get even better results, you'll want to use the image to video AI. And the best part is that it's completely free to try. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basics of getting started with Luma AI. But first, let's take a quick look at some of the results I've gotten. As I said before, it's a high level of motion combined with identity preservation that's really impressive to me. You'll see that the face of this female soldier stays the same without any warping or distortion. The background is also coherent. The quality of motion is pretty high, and notice how the details of the astronaut's uniform and the vegetation around him stays consistent throughout the video. For other AI video generators, it might take 50 tries to get something this good, but with Luma AI, it's pretty easy to get usable videos. To sign up, head to lumalabs.ai, I'll put the link in the description. Click on the try now button, and then you can just log in with a Google account. In the home page, you'll see the prompt bar to start creating AI videos. Now, I could enter my own prompt, but I actually want to try out some of the suggested prompts listed down below. You can click through some of the example ideas here. Let's use this prompt of the old lady underwater in a scuba diving suit. If we hit this pointed arrow, it'll start generating the video for us. They're completely flooded with requests at the minute, so it might take a couple minutes to generate the video. Here's what I got. I mean, the consistency and facial expressions are there. There's even these bubbles behind her head. Now, I'm not much of a scuba diver, so I don't know if this is exactly what it looks like in real life but the quality is undeniable. I prompted for a Pixar-style animation of an astronaut in the ancient rooms of New York City. The prompt coherency is pretty good. It's able to get the red spacesuit correct, and the astronaut does look like he's sitting in what looks like the ancient rooms of a city. However, the Pixar style doesn't really come through. Based on my tests, Luma AI is better at generating realistic videos than animation or illustration style. Here's a car driving in black and white film style. Again, the consistency of the motion is really good. The camera is making a huge turn, but the background stays coherent. Here's a female DJ. You'll notice that the hands do deform a bit in the middle of the video. That's going to be an issue for a while, but she's bouncing up and down and enjoying the music. Even though the resolution looks kind of low in this video, the amount of realistic motion that it's getting is really, really cool. Luma AI can also animate illustration style videos, although it won't be as good as the realistic ones. I tried to get a couple of Studio Ghibli style scenes. The art style doesn't really match what Studio Ghibli looks like, but the videos are usable and don't have any major issues with warping or distortion. By the way, the videos generated are 5 seconds long at 24 frames per second, and the resolution I got when I downloaded them was 1360 by 752. Now, the most impressive results I got came from using image references to generate the videos. Use this uploader icon, and you can attach your own images for the AI to animate. I'll go with this photo of a woman in a living room, and then just enter a simple prompt like, a woman in a sunlit living room. The shadows, plants, and her dress all stay consistent throughout the video. Look at how the floral patterns on her dress is preserved. The camera does rotate a bit at the end. I'm not sure if I like that, but this is still better than anything else out there. These close to medium shots of people seem to be animated the best based on my experiments. But full disclosure, when the AI tries to add a lot of motion in there, there is some warping and distortion. The beginning few seconds of the videos look great, but then the AI tries to do too much and can't maintain the structure properly. I do hope they add in a motion slider that lets us control the amount of motion we want to be animated in the videos. The AI really likes to rotate the camera around the subject for some reason. I don't see why that's necessary, but what's really cool about this particular animation is that the heart patterns on her shirt stay the same on the front and the back, even when the camera rotates around her. Like I said, sometimes the AI tries to do too much, and adds in a ton of animations which causes warping and deformity. Anatomy is also still an issue. Here's a video of a woman by the pool. There's plenty of solid movement, but if you look closely at her legs and her arms, there is some deformities. 
This is a tiger running in the snow. The AI does really, really good, except for this one weird spot where the head should be. And there's just a little knob there. I did try to animate a photo of myself. The motion is a bit jerky, but the buildings in the background look really, really good. To download your videos, just go to my videos and scroll down to find the video you want. Click on it, and then underneath the video player, use this direct link button, which opens up the video in a full screen. From there, select this icon with three dots in the bottom right, and from there you can download the videos. Right now, Luma AI is completely free to try. You get 30 video generations a month. But there are also paid plans if you want to generate more videos. It never hurts to try for free, so go ahead and test this out for yourself. Right now, they are bombarded with video requests, so it can be kind of slow. And it also seemed to throttle me after 8 video generations. This was a big leap forward for AI video generation in my opinion. I was waiting for Sora, but to be honest, after trying out Luma AI, I think it's just as good. If you want a guide on how to prompt for AI videos, go and take a look at this tutorial I made over here.